The Curve Widening Tool in the Roadway Designer is a way to automatically create horizontal point controls to widen selected template points in horizontal curves. In this example, we are required to widen the shoulder when can't is applied to our railway section. So in the Roadway Designer here, as we go into our curve to the left here, we'll step into it. Um, can't is applied, this slope is steepened, and what we want to do is we want to widen our shoulder here from the three foot to the specified uh, width based on the radius of this curve. To do that, we're going to go to Tools, Curve Widening, and the first thing we're going to do is pick a widening table, and the widening table is what defines how much the point is going to be widened based on the curve radius. And what we're going to do is go out and pick our widening table here. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at that. The table is simply five columns of data, the first column being the radius of the curve. And then uh, for each radius, it tells us what our widening width on the inside of the curve and what our widening width on the outside of the curve is going to be. And you can see in this case, for any radius between 0 and 500, uh, we're going to widen the outside uh, 1.5 feet and we can define a transition. These are the transition lengths from the current position to the widened width. For any radius from 500 to 1,000 feet, we're going to widen none on the inside of a curve and we're going to widen one meter on the outside of a curve. And so that is how the table is constructed. We're going to select this table to use in our widening command, then we're going to set up the rest of the options here. The first field is going to ask us which point we want to widen. We're just simply hit the locate button there and go and pick our shoulder point. We have subgrade R as the point. Um, we can also tell it what percent of the transitions can be on the tangent. In this case, I do have a spiral transition defined. If there is an overlap, um, do you want to shorten the transition lengths or do you want to shift the widening onto the curves? And then we can define a station range. In this example, we're going to be widening our shoulder here in a cant. Um, in a roadway example, you might most typically use widening uh, to widen the inside shoulder on a curve for your for your big tandem trucks that would um, will take the curves on a little bit greater radius there. They'll run off the, the edge of the pavement there, so you might want to widen your inside edge of pavement. Um, but in this example, we're going to widen the shoulder out here. When we hit apply, the horizontal point control is created and as we step through we can see that our shoulder point is widening out one extra meter there into our curve. You'll notice that we um, selected the use spiral length for transition so we ignored that length column in the table and our transition from the zero to the one foot in widening is going to happen um, over the length of the spiral transition that I have defined. So if I go to a station before the curve, I can see that my shoulder is three foot in width. And if I go to a station inside my curve, I can see that that is widened out to four feet in width.